reason why I thought that he was corrupt, but who knows now, but the police chief was telling us that he was corrupt. And also to establish a citizen's complaint board. So that way if a police officer was corrupt, or if they did overstep their bounds, then there's a recourse for what citizens can do in order to solve that situation. And, and as expected, the government ignored my request. So if you can't trust the police chief, and you can't trust the cops, and you can't trust the government, didn't even talk to me, didn't even, didn't even respond to. They said, okay, thanks. And that was it. But I was also wanting to install a citizen's complaint board. So that way, uh, this situation like this would never happen again. So they got some sort of recourse to stop this injustice, to stop any type of injustice. So, yeah, it goes to show you the government is not there for the public. They're not there for the people. They're there for just themselves. They're self-serving. They only care about their own deals. I mean, police officers are human beings. They're just as corruptible as anybody else out here. And with no oversight, absolute power corrupts absolutely. There should be some board, some regulating board, a citizen board, which governs the police departments. In 2008, I was on Ralph Nader's presidential campaign. I got 12,000 people to sign my petition to let an independent run for office in America. And we got Ralph Nader on the ballot in 45 of the 50 states. I helped gather over 12,000 signatures supposed to be the freest country in the world, uh, in order to get him just on the ballot so people could vote for him. Because in this country, we don't want any third parties. We don't want independent political parties out there. It's only Republicans and Democrats that are allowed, especially in Oklahoma. The sick need to be made better. More people who care about you, the working people, working class. And heck, the two-party system probably likes the two-party system because after eight years, they just switch power from one to the next. It's just like a little, it's like a pendulum. And in fact, I'm already against the next war. A closed mouth does not get fed. So by stopping third parties from running, we're stopping the major candidates from being pressured to take on some of the more issues, more of the populist issues that people actually care about. You should question authority. So that means I can convince people uh, if I believe in something, I can convince them to do it. I am for equality and for justice. And it's one of the reasons why I'm going around videotaping the local politicians. I am for what's good and what's right. The county judge, the mayors, city council, fiscal court, to keep my politicians honest. The public will know what is being discussed at these meetings. And we need more people who care about, about you, the working people, the working class. I am for change. I'm Johnny Masters and I'm unique and as a citizen I have a limited amount of influence but when I'm in a better economic situation once I finish my college with a degree in political science then I can invest in some land, get a house, uh, hopefully a wife with 4.2 kids, two car garage, pick a fence, you know the typical American dream. I'm a political activist and when I win my next election I'll be able to do more for my community. I'm outspoken. I think all abuse needs to stop. I'm against any type of bullying or intimidation. We only want our Republicans and Democrats, and unfortunately with only a two-party system, that means we're one party away from a dictatorship. Because a closed mouth does not get fed. We need more people to care about you and me, the working class, the working people. We need people to care about us. That's what we need for our leadership. And as an, uh, an elected official, I would actually have the power to be able to stop poverty, to make the healthcare system better, to be able to bring in free internet for my community, or a radio station, or any of the other improvements I think would be beneficial. I'm an activist and I'm relatively still young. 28 since the average Lifespan is 76, so that means I got 48 years left on this planet to make my mark. And that's exactly what I intend to do. And speak their mind because a closed mouth does not get... <laughs> because a closed mouth does not get fed. I'm Johnny Masters and I'm unique.